Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing whether calling an artist talented is an offensive term or just simply something meant as a compliment. And whilst I'm discussing that, I'm going to be painting this bird using watercolors in the background. So about a month ago, I did a video called Five Artist Myths Most People Believe. And one of the artist myths was about this word talented. And so in the comments section of that video, there was a lot of controversy about calling an artist talented and a lot of people got offended by that term. And so I thought it'd be a great idea to make a video discussing whether the word talented is actually an offensive term or whether it's just something that people say to compliment artists. And so the actual myth was about how you have to be talented to become an artist and how you have to be born talented to be a successful artist. And so in the comment section of that video, a lot of people said that they get offended when people call them talented. And so the first argument about being offended by this term was how when people call you talented, quite often they will say phrases like, oh, I wish I was born with your talent or, oh, you're so lucky to be able to draw or you're really lucky to have this talent. And so I can see why a lot of people get offended when people say these sort of phrases to them. Because as an artist, you want to feel appreciated and recognised for all of the hard work, time and practice you've had to put in to get to the skill level that you are at. So when someone comes along and says, oh, I wish I was born with your talent, it makes you feel like they're diminishing all of that time and hard work that you've put in to have to get there. You weren't born with this talent. You've had to work hard and keep progressing your artistic skills to get to where you are now. And so when someone doesn't recognise that, it can make you feel a bit disheartened and you can actually get quite offended by it because it makes you feel like, do people really think I was just born with this and I didn't have to work hard to get to this level? And especially when they say phrases like, oh, I wish I was born with your talent or I wish I could draw like you. It's like, well, you could if you tried and practiced as hard as I have. And it's not like I just can draw like this from when I was a young age, I've had to work hard to get to that level. So I can totally see why people get offended when people call them talented in this way. But on the other hand, I also think it depends on the context in which someone is calling you talented. So for example, people sometimes just call you talented as like a replacement word for calling you skilled. So sometimes when people say, oh, you're so talented, they don't mean it in an offensive way and they don't mean it in a way that they think that you haven't had to work hard to get to your level of skill. Some people simply just use talented as a replacement word for skill and they think it basically means the same thing. So I don't think that when everyone calls you talented they all mean it in an offensive way. I think some people just don't understand that you've had to work hard to get to where you are but I don't think anyone really means to cause you offence when they call you talented because at the end of the day if they're calling you talented they don't really think that they're saying anything negative. It's just just, I suppose the way we take it and sometimes we can be quite sensitive when we feel like our hard work is not appreciated but I think this just again comes under a misunderstanding about what it actually takes to be an artist and to be able to draw well. I genuinely think some people just think that you have to be born with the skills to be able to draw. I think a lot of people just don't understand, but I don't think they're trying to be offensive. And sometimes it might just be better to explain to them how hard you've had to work to get to where you are and what it's entailed rather than just getting offended. Because sometimes we just need to educate people and just tell them how it really is rather than getting offended. But then I think other people use the word talented in a way to kind of make themselves feel better and to kind of justify and make excuses for their own progression. So let me explain this even more. So when someone says, I wish I could be as talented as you, I don't think they are necessarily trying to cause offence to you. I think they are more trying to create excuses for themselves as to why they can't get to your level. So I think a lot of people like to think of this idea as talent for a reason why they can't get to your level and they don't just accept that they could be where you are with a lot of time and practice. So overall, I definitely think that it is justified for some people to get offended by the word talented, but I also think that it really does depend on the context in which someone is saying it in. 
I think that some people can be a little too sensitive to the word. Personally, I don't get offended when someone calls me talented in any way. I either think that they mean it as another word for skill and saying you're really skilled and you are really good at what you do. I don't think everyone that says talented is trying to say it in an offensive way. I also think people that call you talented, like, oh, you're really lucky to be born with this talent. I don't think they mean it in an offensive way. I think they just don't understand what it takes to be an artist. And also, I think people that say it in that way and draw themselves and say it in a way that they wish they could be like you or as talented as you, I think they just try to make excuses as to why they can't reach that level. Or they might just simply not understand that it did take you hard work and that they could achieve that if they worked hard as well. So I hope you enjoyed that little discussion about the word talented and I would love to hear your thoughts. So right now, please comment, what are your thoughts on the word talented? Do you get offended by it? Do you think people should get offended by it? Or do you think people are just a bit too sensitive and it's just a harmless compliment? Also, if you do want to check out that five artist myths video, then I'll link that at the end of this video so that you can check that out once you finish watching this one. But anyway, let's talk a bit more about this painting that I'm doing. So I really like the reference photo for this one and I decided that I wanted to do it in a really loose watercolour sort of style. So I am using my Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolours and my Daler Rowney Aquafine paintbrushes. And so the first thing that I did was I just established some of the main shapes and I got a base layer down with the watercolours and I used the wet and wet method. And so this is where you use a lot of water to help kind of bleed the colours together to get this really seamless loose watercolour style. Let me know as well, do you want me to do a tutorial on how I do these sort of expressive animals using that watercolour and how to do the wet on wet method? Let me know if you think that would be useful for you. So I established all of the colours and I also added some like splatters for the background to make it more interesting. I varied the size of the splatters and I added some like little droplets and drips using the brush. You can create the drips by like tilting the paper but because it was taped down it was easier for me just to kind of like draw them on myself and so I just kept layering up the watercolours until I got some of the areas as dark as I wanted them to be. For the black I didn't have any black watercolour so what I'm actually using is a black ink tense pencil by Derwent and what I did was I used the pencil first straight onto the paper for the base layer and I like marked out all of the darkest shadows and then when I want to add some black paint I'm just like rubbing the paintbrush onto that ink tense pencil lead to create some like paint on my paintbrush and then I just used splatters and I just create some darker shadows using that. And then once I've added all of the watercolours, I'll go in with a black fine liner. And I really like using this to create more of an illustrative sort of look. I like to define the edges and also create some little details just to make it a bit more crisp. And so you can better see the shapes and everything that's going on. I like to create little details in the feathers and just pick out the main details from the reference photo. So the main like idea of this was I didn't want it to be like super realistic. I wanted it to have realistic elements. So I wanted all the anatomy of the bird to be accurate and I wanted it to look like the bird and to have this realistic sort of quality to it. But I'm not going for photorealism at all with this piece. And once I've added that with the black fine liner, I like to go in with some white gouache to make some highlights, make a few bits stand out, and also just to add some extra droplets of the bright white gouache just to really add some interesting little details and effects to the watercolour. And then I go in with the watercolours again just to really like add all of the little extra details to get it as good as I want it to be. But that's basically my process for how I created this painting. I really liked how this one turned out. So if you want to see even more art topic discussions, then I have got a playlist with all of them in. So I'll link that above. And also, if you want to look at more tutorials, whether that's for coloured pencil, charcoal, graphite, watercolour and markers, all that sort of stuff, I'll also leave my playlist for how to draw tutorials so that you can check that out if you want to practice and get even better at your drawing skills. 
If you enjoyed this video and you want to see even more tutorials, art videos and all of that sort of stuff then please subscribe and if you did enjoy this video I would really appreciate any likes, comments and shares on this video. It would really mean a great deal to me and help out my channel. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!